Hello, and welcome to episode 142 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode will be on making a small wine barrel. Um, before I get started though, uh, with the description and notes, I just wanted to say that in this episode I was did originally want to do the uh, wine rack, um, but of course, as you all know, I've not even done wine yet, and uh, the wine rack of course in order to demonstrate that I would need wine barrels now I know that you're perhaps thinking well yeah you'll need wine as well for the wine barrels but no the wine barrels take any liquid um, they're actually very very useful so I thought well I could start with wine but before wine I'd have to do this and before that and so I had a long list so I thought well let's just cut to the chase and do a small wine barrel then I can do the wine rack uh, so that's what I decided on. The good news is, because this is an index series, you can hop, skip and jump between the episodes, and so you can always go to a future episode, which will be on wine, if you want to see how to make wine. But for this episode, we're going to stick with the small wine barrel. OK, here's a description. A small, carefully crafted wooden barrel with the sole purpose to store precious wine. Although, don't be misled by that, uh, what I've just said there, because they will store any liquid. So you're asking then, why would you want to store any liquid? So let's uh, reply by skip firing a question at you. Uh, and the question is this, how can you store liquid so it does not take any decay damage? So, okay, let's demonstrate this. If we go over to my wagon, which if I actually get the right one, which is just here, and if we take a look on my wagon, Previously, a few months ago, or whenever it was, I'm not exactly sure, but there is only one sure thing with when you store liquids in your wagon, that they're going to um, take damage eventually. So if we look in here, now here's liquids I was working with recently, and as you can see, they haven't taken any, any damage yet, but they will. So let's go back a bit further in time to liquids that I've had on my wagon a while. And in this uh, raft, you'll see are some small barrels, and in two of the barrels are two different liquids, lye and tannin. Notice the lye has now taken 63.76 um, damage, and the tannin is starting to take damage as well. Well, you know what it's like. If you want to store mass amounts of uh, liquids, you want to be able to use them again and again in the future. You don't want them to rot away and eventually just dis disappear through total damage so what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate using the small wine barrel okay to show hopefully that they don't take damage okay so i've got water in that one um let's bring up my inventory I'll leave these on here for now, okay, um, but what, what I want to demonstrate is the lie on zero, zero damage and I'm going to show making the small wine barrel and what we can do to stop decaying on it. Okay, so that's the description for the small wine barrel. That's liquids that when you leave them for a long time they'll start to take damage. So what I want to show you in this episode is how you can eliminate them taking damage in the future. Okay, right, so let's carry on then and answer that question that I asked you a few moments ago. Now, first of all, the usage of the small wine barrel. Used to hold up to 45 kilograms of liquid or items. Notice I didn't just say wine, I said liquid. So there you go, you can store all liquids, but I will be showing that once I've made a wine barrel. Can be sealed with a wood scrap to ferment alcoholic beverages inside so for making wine and beer you can use a wood you can activate a wood scrap from your inventory and I'm going to show doing this and then right click on a filled wine barrel and select create and then whatever type of beverage you're trying to create that's what you will choose so if we were doing wine we'd choose wine if we're doing beer we'd choose beer etc you may unseal the barrel only when it is fully fermented. So bear that in mind. When you put wine in your barrel, 
and you seal it with a wood scrap you will not be able to um, unseal that barrel until that wine has fully fermented and here's the one that answers the question to storing the liquids without taking damage can be sealed with a peg to stop the decay of the contents this seal can be undone at any time destroying the peg note that the sealing note that sealing the barrel in this way will not ferment beverages so if you want to ferment beverages you use a wood scrap if you want to stop the contents from taking decay then you'll use a peg now I've not tested this yet this theory with this peg and no damage so I want to just do an experiment over time I'm gonna seal up a barrel with a peg we're gonna put liquids in it we're gonna put this um, lye within it and we're gonna see if it takes damage so let's see how much does this weigh because I don't want to walk too slowly all right I'm gonna take the lye no in fact what I'm gonna do is put the small wine barrel in I'm gonna see if I can fit it inside um, my wagon so I'll come back to this okay that's the usage next let's move on to the notes it has a capacity as I've already mentioned of 45 kilograms of liquid you use 0 0.36 kilograms of dye is needed in order to paint the uh, small wine barrel it is the quality of the small nails that determines the success rate if the initial creation fails the nails and the plank are damaged and last of all the barrels wood type is dictated by the type of plank you attached last however all of the barrels use the same texture regardless of wood well that's as it stands today that might change of course in the future okay let's now get on to making a small wine barrel total materials needed to make the small wine barrel are one small nail five planks and one iron ribbon the, and it will use the fine carpentry skill so let's bring up that uh, window now today I hit 50 in my fine carpentry so I got the title fine carpenter so that's what you get at 50 I think if I right click and go on this oh no it doesn't tell us but anyway yeah if you get to 50 in fine carpentry you will unlock the title fine carpenter so there we have it okay let's make a small wine barrel so we're going to use the recipe window for this let's bring it up oh and I want to say thank you to Rainstorm for uh, getting the materials for me for, to, to make this small wine barrel thank you very much Rainstorm okay so let's go into the recipes in here you type small wine that brings up your small wine barrel Okay, and as you can see, total materials, one small nail, five planks, and an iron ribbon. So I'm going to add this to the crafting window, and let's now create. There we go. So we have ourselves a unfinished cedarwood small wine barrel. So let's right-click, add it to the crafting window. Now we need to add one iron ribbon and four more planks. So let's do that. Got a little bit of lag today, but I guess uh, Steam or something is busy, but never mind. Let's continue. Notice I always add the wood last. Uh, well, if you're using different types of wood, different planks, like it said earlier, you'll get uh, the, what did it say? Um, you get the different type. Let's have a look, just double check that. Yeah, wood type is dictated by the last plank that you attach, so bear that in mind. Okay, let's continue. Let's spam it, in fact, because we are in Worm Unlimited, whereas Worm Online, you wouldn't be able to get away with this for long. And there we go. And that's with a fine carpentry of uh, 50. So notice I was getting some nice skill gain there. Now we have a small wine barrel. Okay, so how do we now use this to our advantage? We don't have any wine, I don't have any wine, but how can it still be very beneficial to me? Okay, well over here with this small wine barrel, I have sealed it with a peg to stop the contents uh, from rotting. But if we take a look, 
you'll notice there isn't any contents in it. Okay, so that might lead you to wonder, wonder a question. If you seal a small wine barrel using a peg, can you put liquids into it after it, it has been sealed? So first of all though, before we do that, let's take a look at this barrel. So if I activate a wood scrap, right click the barrel, you'll notice there's the option to secure. So if it had um, wine or beer in it, then I would use the wood scrap. But because this is a newly created uh, wooden barrel that is empty, there's no point in um, putting a wood scrap in because there's nothing in it to, to uh, ferment. So instead I'll use the peg on it. So activate wooden peg, right click on the small wooden barrel. Notice there's an option to secure. Now with this one over here, I've told you I've secured it already. <clears throat> Excuse me. How would you know if you've secured one of your barrels already? Well, originally, when I double-clicked on it, in the description it told me the barrel had been sealed. But I noticed, after pull it on, putting it on the ground, it didn't tell me that anymore. It doesn't say that, you can see. It doesn't say it's been sealed. So, the only way that you can really know is activate a wooden peg, right-click, and if you do not see the option... Oh, the option is there to secure. Well, that's so funny because I tried that earlier and it didn't give me the option to secure. But let's do this one because I know that's been secured already. Unless when picking it up, it broke the, the uh, seal. So what I'm going to do, let's take this. Let's go over to my wagon, which is behind me. Okay, and what I want to do is put one of the liquids in here, which I don't want to get destroyed, like the um, lie. So what I'm going to do, let's let's pull it in here because I don't want to clutter up my wagon too much. In fact though, I want to make sure I don't um, get it mixed up with the other. Oh, mind you, these are all small wooden barrels, so let's do that, yeah. So I'm going to drop that in this uh, raft. Okay, there's our small wooden barrel. I'm going to drop the lie into that now. Okay, so there it is. Now with the peg activated, I'll right click on the small wine barrel. And there you go. Now that it's got the liquid in it, I've got the option not to secure but to seal because it's got liquid. If the wine barrel doesn't have any liquid in it, it says, as you could see previously, secure. So I'm going to go with seal. And you can see over here, and there we go. So that is now a sealed small wine barrel. Okay, oh, and let's have a look further. So you can see it tells us the liquid content is lye and it's linden wood. So if I now right click on that, notice there is not an option to open, but there is an option to unseal. So a peg, remember, is very easy to make. Let's just show you quickly. I have shown you making pegs before, but just now because it's going to be so useful to you. So if I type in peg, you will see to make a peg is very simple. Uh, you just need a wooden shaft and a carving knife. So use the crafting recipe window and it'll be very easy to make. So there we go. That's now secured that. So let's now go get my other barrel. And I'm going to put the tannin in this one, so let's take that. Now what I'm curious to see is, I put, uh, I secured it with a peg earlier, but I'm going to see if I can now put another peg in, because I didn't destroy the first one. So I don't know if the game will still recognise that there's a peg already in it. But, you know, this is what it's all about, experimentation. So let's open this up, and I'm going to pull it in here. Okay, now I'm going to drop my other liquid, which is tannin. There it is. There's not a great deal, to be honest with you. There's only a tiny little bit, but just for the sake of... Exp oh, mind you, look, there's more lye. Oh, okay, so what I'm going to do is unseal this other barrel and put the rest of that lye in here. So let's unseal that. You see over here, it's going through unsealing it. 
So now I've got the two wine barrels and that one with my lie. So what I want to do is drop this other lie into there. Oh no, it's at its maximum capacity. Okay, fair enough. So that's fully topped up. I'll have to make another wine barrel, won't I? So not a problem. Okay, let's make some pegs. I need two pegs. Well, three pegs because I'm going to need to make another one to store more lie. So let's bring up the crafting window and back to here and add pegs. And I want to create three of them. Okay, so let's activate this peg. Let's now seal this barrel, which is full. Okay, and I'm going to put the tannin in the other one. Oh, what am I doing? There we go, so that's got tannin. Let's seal that one up. Um, notice what I did previously to get rid of the lies damage. I mixed it with another part, uh, some more tan, some more lie which didn't have damage. Remember, it had 63 damage this other lie, so I just mixed it with a higher quality level lie, and that eliminated the damage. I could do the same with the tannin, but I'm not really bothered. I'm hopefully going to see if it stops at 11.75. So let's now seal this barrel. Okay, so I'm now just going to leave them for, I don't know, one month, two months, three months, maybe then, and then I'll unseal in a future episode and we can take a look at whether the liquids have taken any damage or not. Although we must remember, of course, that the tannin had 11 something damage, but the lye didn't have any damage at all. So we can check that again in the future. Okay, so there is the main benefit of your small wine barrel. Putting liquids into it and sealing it with a peg uh, so it doesn't take any future damage. And then that way in the future, if you ever need that liquid, you only need to unseal it, use the liquid, and then you can reseal it. And they're very easy to make. Uh, remember with uh, using the small wine barrels to ferment liquids, you need wood scraps. So exactly the same way. Put your liquid in, activate your wood scrap, and then you can seal uh, with your wood scrap. Okay, so in the next episode, we're going to take a look at making a small wine rack. Now that we have some small wine barrels, that can go into them. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.